if my freaking computer would stop lagging then this video could go really good all right what's up you guys the name's dxd dd production laboratory or you can call me d for short and today i can now you see my computer lagging i'm so sorry my internet's been acting stupid lately and today we're actually going to be going on dbz.space so i'm going to be going there in a minute and today in this video i'm going to be telling you what exactly you should be saving your red coins for should you be using them now actually what coins you need to save actually and whether or not you should be using your red and yellow coins now or should you wait let's see it but it was like people so here's one of the banners right here is the reason why i said save your red coins because of this banner right here the blue fusions come back this was on jp this banner right here is going to drop on thanksgiving somewhere near thanksgiving in november this banner is going to drop which will have the new lr blue bros and the blue fusions for the first time will be returning on the global side this guy will be coming back for the second time either the second or that will this will be the first time the go bros come back and then you got this and whatnot the reason why i'm telling the reason why i say that this banner really isn't that great yeah the blue fusions these is when you get to where the easy air don't confess ah dokkan festival exclusive units that sucks really bad like if i was bandai i would remove i would remove him and put cooler right here i would remove this gohan and put the str gohan i would remove this super saiyan 3 vegeta and put probably i don't know just some other str unit besides this one i would remove this cell actually and I would honestly put some some other unit. I would remove this golden freezer and put the AGL golden freezer there. Like there's a bunch of units that they could have replaced this with to make this banner good. But every banner is always gonna have some trash units. Like that's just expected at this point. I don't have none of these units rainbowed anyway. So overall, this banner is actually pretty good for me. I do not need this freaking Vegeta. Or rather, I could use like four copies of this Vegeta. I can only use probably one to two copies of this Goku. I could use four copies of this Rosé, one copy of this Vegito. But anyway, there's, this video is not about me. This is about you guys. And as you can see, they also, this is their first time coming. This is the, oh my God, my computer lag. Jesus Christ. This is the first time they come to Global. Now, this is the banner that you guys should spend your stones on. UI Goku is a fantastic unit. This Frieza is a fantastic unit. This Jiren is an okay unit. This Vegeta right here is a really good unit. He just rarely transforms. These two are pretty good, decent units. Um, Like I said, oh, never mind. The Tanabana is the third, second or third time that these Go Bros come back. Because this is... This banner right here that I was just talking about with the blue fusions is after this banner comes out. Uh, this Beerus is phenomenal. He's really good. Blue Bros is amazing. And then this Krillin is pretty okay. From what I heard from the truth, he's like a really weaker version of Skinny Boo. So besides that, hey, it is what it is. But save your red coins for these two banners. Do not use your coins for Gohan how many stones you can drop for Gohan I'll, have, I'll say 100 to 150 that's all I can say 100 to 150 that that's the most that's the most 150 at most I'm honestly me I might not even post a video when this banner comes out. 
I mean, yeah, I might not even post a video for this banner. Like, y'all might just see me YOLO and drop, like, a couple stones on it. Like, probably a hundred. And, like, it is what it is. But I'm not going to drop any, probably, no stones on the banner. Because then you have the overpowered Jiren the Grey, basically. And this dude is a, he's a monster, bro. Like, I really don't get, like, why people would spend their coins. Also, if my gut is correct, this banner, when it comes to global, I'm pretty sure that... Actually, I gotta reload this, but, um, I'm pretty sure... When that Jiren banner drops on Global, Rose and Broly, I think Rose and Broly is going to be in the banner, Legendary Summon banner that's coming up for this celebration too. I'm not too sure, but uh, most of my discussion videos and stuff like this will be probably like 30 something minutes long because I do like to talk about a lot of stuff. But this, yeah, this Jiren, he's pretty good and pretty amazing. Definitely save up your yellow coins for this banner. Definitely save up. And then if you don't pull them, uh, do not worry. Actually, what you can do is you can just straight up just wait. Because for every new legendary summon summonable LR that comes out after two legendary summon banners have came onto the uh certain side. Like, say if Jiren, since this Jiren came out, and then next thing you know, they drop, like, uh, an LR summonable Topo, and then after that, they drop, like, a LR summonable Super Broly. I'm pretty sure either during the LR Super Broly, or the Legendary Summon banner after the Broly, that's when this Jiren will become available in the shop. But besides that, you really want to, like, save up your coins. I'm not really sure how the gotcha coin shop do goes, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why I said, like, either during that, say, if they did release a Broly, even either that Broly or after that Broly was when this dude comes into the shop. But, yeah, to keep it short and simple, save up for this banner. Save up for... This banner, if I don't know if that double rates banner did this banner come out on global? If it did not come on global, definitely save for this banner too because this is a double rates banner, double rates being double LR rates. So I probably will be dropping a bunch of stones on this banner in particular. Because this is a really good time to be pulling LRs. Um, what else do you guys need to save up for? I'm pretty sure that's about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. We can take a look at Gohan's banner before I end this video. So, uh, yeah. These are these are the SSRs that's gonna be on the banner. Now you guys are gonna be like, what are you talking about? But I do feel they might switch out this cooler. Because remember, hear me out. Remember when the beer is dropped, we were supposed to get the STR cooler, but they switched it to Kaioken Blue Goku. That lets me know, or lets us know as Dokkan players, that Bandai can and indeed switch units off the banners. 
Now, why did they take STR um off the banner? I don't know. I couldn't even tell you guys that. I don't know. I have no clue. But I do feel like this HEL cooler is not a high chance, but it is a very slow and low chance that they could replace this cooler with STR cooler. I don't know why. I just got a gut feeling that they might do that. But like I said, it's a gut feeling. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to head out now because I got to edit this video. Uh, I think that's about it. I think that's all I wanted to really cover. Is it really? Yeah, and that's all I really wanted to cover. So to recap before I leave, save your uh red coins for Tenabata and the Blue Burrows banner. Save your yellow coins for this banner right here. Or if you want to, you can summon for this banner. Free to play players, I acknowledge you to not summon on this banner right here. Unless you uh plan on turning into a pay to pay to win player, pay to play. Like on um, me. I'm not a really complete whale. Even though I did well out this celebration and fifth year in a uh, celebration because the fifth year celebration i had a total of 1500 stones and i'm pretty sure during this celebration i was about 1200 stones deep and i managed to get both the new units and whatnot one copy of both well two copies of the vegeto but uh yeah save your yellow coins for this banner uh, you can spend about a hundred stones on the Gohan banner right here. You can spend a hundred stones there. I changed that 150 because I thought about it. Save your red coins for this and miss right here. I don't think, I don't think the blue bros will be in the shop when this banner drops. I'm going to have to go back and watch Nano. And the truth when they were summoning on this banner to see and to let you guys know I will be posting on my Instagram whether or not uh they did or didn't. I will also be posting it on my Twitter, so make sure to go follow me on Twitter and make sure to go check out my story on Instagram because I do post not daily, but I do post important information time to time that a lot of people look past. Like, for example, last video when I told you guys that we might be getting a Hercule and Good Boot card, people really weren't like looking at that option either. But, like I said, I explained all that in the last video. I'm pretty sure I'll have a tag that's somewhere right in the right hand corner if you guys want to go check out that video. But, besides that, yeah, save your red coins for this one. This one, spend 100 coins, not 100 coins, but 100 stones on the Gohan banner. You can summon a crap ton on that double SSR rate banner because you're probably going to pull at least one LR. At least one. Um, If you don't pull no LRs, it's a good, there's a ton of good SSRs that's on there. It's a good, uh, for my free-to-play players, it's a good way to build your account right then and there. Uh, these two banners are really good to build your account on. So if you don't really trust that double SSR rates then have my word these two banners will probably treat you really good because the easy a's on this banner is pretty good and decent and the units on this banner are phenomenal so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it i hope you guys liked my third yeah i'll keep on track my third information dokkan video uh you guys keep letting me know what i need to work on last video before the last one people were saying that basically that they couldn't hear me over the music or not i had in the video so i'm probably not gonna add music in it anymore i only wanted to put music in so that way you know it wouldn't be just borderline silence and y'all just hear me talking and then i'm just like putting y'all to sleep pretty much i didn't want to do that so that's why i put the music in 
but if my like mic is that quiet then i might not you know put music in like i said uh, when i'm editing this video i'll see whether whether or not i put in music and i'll try to like fix it and whatnot but um yeah really thanks thank you guys so much for that i got a total a 20 comments on that post on Instagram when I posted it and honestly I really was kind of shocked because I was not expecting that many people to just come out of nowhere and just like you know actually give me advice and whatnot but uh yeah I will catch you guys later Next video will probably be not even will be a summoning video. It'll be a reaction video because I'm pretty sure when part two drops, we're going to get a video on the new unit that's going to drop. I hope my theory is right. If my theory is right on this one, then it'll be the first theory that's right on the channel. If it's not, then it'll be the first wrong theory on the channel. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed catch you guys later save your coins save your stones like i said and we'll be having a good time so yeah